my family is originally from South Sudan. I was born in Kakuma, Kenya. It's a refugee camp. 19-year-old Taban Manyok of Lynn sought asylum with his family in the United States when he was three. I was a tough kid. Uh, it's just, I always gave the teachers a hard time. Manyok, now a freshman at Fitchburg State University, struggled in school as a child. It wasn't really for me. I was getting in trouble, hanging out with the wrong crowd. Financial assistance from the Catholic Schools Foundation enabled a transfer to a Catholic school that he says set him on the right path in academics and in life. I am who I am because of the Catholic Schools Foundation and what they've done for me and everybody who I've met because of the Catholic Schools Foundation has made me who I am today. Mike Reardon, executive director of the Catholic Schools Foundation, draws inspiration from Manyok's journey and success. We received a call from our corporate partners, Liberty Mutual, who were involved with the Sudanese Refugee Center. And they said, we have this young man who no one knows what to do with, but it's not working out in the Lynn Public Schools. They called because they thought a Catholic education would make a difference in his life. I called the principal up at, in Lynn. I said, there's this young third grader who's challenged right now, what can you do? He said, bring him in Monday. That young man graduated from eighth grade at St. Pius. He graduated from St. Mary's High School in Lynn. He's now at Fitchburg State. He's gonna get his degree. He's gonna be okay. That wasn't a number. They took care of me individually, made sure I was doing the right thing, staying out of trouble, and made sure I was taking care of my schoolwork. Jeffrey Sanchez attributes his own success to Mission Grammar School in Boston's Mission Hill neighborhood. In 2017, Sanchez became the first Latino representative to chair the Massachusetts House Ways and Means Committee. He is now senior advisor at Rasky Partners. They really instilled in us very powerful values, and I, as a, as a Puerto Rican kid growing up in these projects, I, I never felt any different than you know, than my, you know, best friends, you know, that looked, that looked different than me or had a different accent than me. As a student, Sanchez served as a sacristan, a caretaker of Our Lady of Perpetual Help Basilica next door to Mission Grammar. Imagine having a key at 11 years old to open up this majestic property here to let people in. It was the greatest honor of my life next to serving this community as an elected representative in the Massachusetts House of Representatives. Student enrollment in the schools of the Archdiocese is more than 30% non-white. In Boston Catholic schools, it's about half. To this day, Sanchez says he draws on life lessons he learned from the Mission Grammar community. I'm in the classroom that my values teacher, Sister Caroline, is in right now. You know, she was always the one to hold your hand and she'd ask you, how's your faith? and she'd shake you up. And even when you were feeling bad, and she'd stop and she'd say, you know what, if it all falls apart, the only thing you gotta do is hit the ground and offer it up and say, please help me. Just having that was really profound. Like an egg. Christina Vidania, a third grade teacher at Mission Grammar, continues that tradition of fostering community. My biggest thing is teaching them kindness and just positivity. And it's not always gonna be positive, but I think getting that message across to them that we have a community in here. Mission Grammar President, Ali Dutson. The beauty to me is the example that we set in Catholic education. We are promoters of justice, we're seekers of truth, and we're developers of faith. And, and everyone lives their faith differently. And it, it's incredibly beautiful to see our scholars, starting from infants to grade six, really sharing and developing and exploring their faith. Zion Horton Nelson is a graduate of Mission Grammar, now a seventh grader at Catholic Memorial in West Roxbury. As a fifth grader, he started his own nonprofit called Code Biotics. It teaches kids from the age seven to 12, like how to code and how to do like scratch and how to use like apps for coding and like, yeah. Zion learned how to code at a summer camp and now shares the skills with others. When I went to the coding camp, it was like really expensive. So this is like all those kids who wanted to go to that camp and like kids who wanted to go to learn how to code and stuff like this is like their chance because it's not that much money, it's free. Zion and his brother Zachary, a third grader at Mission Grammar, are both Catholic Schools Foundation scholars. Zachary says while the school uniforms aren't his favorite. Yes, but kind of itchy. He still likes being at Mission Grammar. Of course I'm glad my hair I can make friends, learn more, make more friends, learn more. And I make friends everywhere. 
Mm -hmm. Wow, and Mission Grammar School, truly a piece of the community. It was founded 130 years ago. Right, and the adjacent church, mm -hmm. Our Lady of Perpetual Help, also known as the Mission Church, is where Mission Hill actually gets its name from, that neighborhood. And people may remember, of course, that Senator Ted Kennedy's funeral mass was held at that church back in 2009. Mm -hmm. Up next, scholarship support for students in need.